Hey, Chris and Larry family. So we have been challenged by a net down at Annie's Kitchen and Urban Homestead. And she wants to know what our three goals are this year. So I actually am gonna break these down and we're gonna do nine goals because we're gonna do a personal goal, we're gonna do a business goal, and we're going to do a homestead goal section. So let's get started. Okay, so number one for our homestead goal is I need to get a new line of chickens in and be successful with our pens. Um, that's number one goal. We had a coyote come in and take out most of our flock. Our ducks are still doing really well, but we need some new chickens. Number two for our homestead goals is we are looking at getting a halo collar for our deaf Pyrenees um, so that he can roam a little bit more. Um, he's in the house an awful lot for being a working dog, so we want to make sure that he is able to function in our homestead and be able to go around our property line. <laughs> She's got in the car. Number three for our homestead goals is I want to make sure that we are canning and dehydrating and freeze drying enough food um, to not only use through that year, but also to build up at least a six month supply of new produce that we're, we're um, growing and new meat that we're growing and, and that on our homestead. So that's number three for our homestead goals. Okay, so for personal goals this year, I want to continue my weight loss journey. Uh, in 2022, I lost 35 pounds. Um, I'd like to do the same in 2023. So that's number one for personal goals. Okay, number two, personal goal. I would like to make it a point to do a 15 minute Bible study with myself every single morning and just reflect on the day or the week before um, right now I, it's hit or miss and I need to make time for that. So that's goal number two for 2023. Goal number three for a personal goal. I would like to take another online or in-person ASL class. I've already taken quite a few classes. Um, we do use some American sign language in the house, but I would like to get myself a little more fluent and, um, practice more uh some of the kids have taken some classes so it's been made it a little bit more easy but that's my personal goal number three for 2023 all right for business goals for 2023 number one i would like to publish six new books this year i already have two in the works so it's just four more writing and editing but get those on Amazon, get those on the Kindle. That is my first one. Business goal number two for 2023 is to go ahead and double our sales on our Etsy page. That is a personal goal that I write personal business goal that I have that I had already made. We're already well on our way to doubling our January sales from last year. So that is goal number two for our business. Business goal number three for 2023. I would truly like to see myself schedule specific days every month. Um, that we're designing digital work, another one that we're doing our print work, um, getting out some new t-shirt designs. My goal is to restructure some of my calendar to make sure that I have adequate time for my family, but be able to bring out new and exciting products. So there you have it, my friends. There are my three business goals, my three personal goals, 
and my three homesteading goals. Make sure you check out Annette over at Annie's um, Kitchen uh, and Urban Homestead. Why can I not remember your show, Annette? Uh, but check out her link below and see what some of the other goals she has for herself. She's a great friend of mine in Australia. So right now it's summertime for her where it's winter time for me. So check her out, you guys. And what are some of your goals that you've made for your personal, for your business, and for your homestead this year? Put them in the comments down below. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.